What's going on everybody? Chase with IDub Hockey here to do a review on the new True Hazardous 7X hockey stick. Now this is the opening in the elite level category for the True Hazardous line this year. So really where elite performance meets affordability because the weight is just incredible. And it does have that low kick flex profile. So perfect for players looking to get the puck off of their stick and into the back of the net as quickly and as efficiently as possible. So in terms of shaft dimensions, we have square corners, concave sidewalls, which is very comfortable in the hands. Also makes for a really nice secure lock, especially with the grippy texture that we see all the way throughout. And it does have a little 3D raised print down through the center where the graphics meet between the carbon fiber and the orange up at the top here. As we get into the construction, this is where we see some big changes compared to that 3X, and what really makes this a true elite level product. First off, we have that full carbon fiber weave that we see uh, from top to bottom all the way into the blade. Very lightweight, high-end material, but it's the way that they use it that makes it so special. The first is the PLD, or precision laminate design. Essentially, this is the way that they layer the carbon fibers. Uh, over the past couple of years, they've gotten really, really good at how they do it to provide different characteristics throughout the entirety of the shaft. So, Part of it is to create this really nice new low kick that provides a wicked quick shot release, but also allows them to reinforce key breakage areas while also reducing weight. So really the best of both worlds. They combine that with a new ResFlow technology. Resin is essentially the glue that holds the carbon fibers together. This new system is a little bit more efficient. So instead of having a ton of extra glue holding that carbon fiber together, they use a more higher end product and allows them to achieve the same amount of performance and durability and strength, but with less material. With less material, you'll get less weight. That's why they were able to get this stick, the 7X, under 400 grams. As I mentioned, it does have that nice low kick point, so perfect for those snipers, just looking to get the puck off as quickly as humanly possible. And then as we get into the blade core, this is where we see their TRT or Tri-Rib Tech blade has three different ribs that reinforce the blade horizontally from heel to toe. Uh, they're specifically placed to maximize puck contact. So as you're taking passes, you're getting a lot better feedback through the stick into your hands. So you have the confidence where that puck is sitting at at all times. We have some really nice high-end foams in there. So helping with that as well, giving you that feedback, giving you that consistency that you need to dangle in traffic and not have to drop your head to see where your puck's at. And then lastly, with those three ribs, when you do need to rip a clapper out there and you want your blade face to stay square to the target instead of twisting on that big shot, this is going to give you the accuracy you need to go bar down every time. We do have that carbon fiber also running into the blade with a slight texture on the front finish as well. Now, as I mentioned before, 399 grams, technically a third price point in this hazardous stick line, which is insane. So uh, True is on a roll right now, and this 7X might be my favorite stick for 2022. We gotta see what else comes out, but in terms of just the value and the performance it offers for the price, this one's gonna be very hard to beat. Also for the looks, because I'm a big fan of getting a little creative out here. Uh, I've always liked you know, the deep, dark, kind of uh, low profile colorways. Uh, they're getting loud and proud this year with all this orange up top uh, and the iridescent logo down below. It looks awesome, it feels awesome, it's gonna play awesome. So uh, 7X is something you definitely need to check out. So if you're looking for more information, go ahead and hit the link in the description. Give us a thumbs up on the video. While you're there, make sure you're subscribed to the number one hockey gear view channel on YouTube. See you next time.